It's 0410, the O. Oh my God, it's early. Uh, this morning, up early to take Michelle to the airport. She's off to see her grandfather in Northern Ireland. I need coffee, lots of coffee. It's uh, 10 past five. Time to get home, maybe grab another hour's sleep before we get started for the day. This morning, um, I learned about the passing of John Glenn, the first American astronaut to orbit the Earth in the Friendship 7 spaceship. Um, I've got to say, it's one of those things where you hear about celebrity deaths all the time, and to be honest, they don't usually have a lot of effect on me. Um, you know, people I don't know, uh, but sometimes there's there's occasionally somebody who passes that, that does have a bit of an effect. And John Glenn was one of those people because when I grew up in the 1970s, John Glenn and the other the other astronauts were were a source of inspiration for me. They they set a goal that for 99.9% .9 of the people who who looked at them and thought, I want to be an astronaut. They, they set a goal that was just unattainable for most. Um, however, that didn't stop young boys like me trying, um, learning, and just generally admiring what they did um, and, and using them as a source of inspiration throughout their career, wherever they ended up. And John Glenn was one of those people. He, he was just a generally nice man. Um, I got to see him speak. I never actually got to meet the man in person, but I got to see him speak on a number of occasions at, at conferences. Um, you really, you really have to look up to him. That you know, not only being one of the very first to go into space on a rocket that, quite frankly, had no business going into space, um, but also later on in life to be the oldest man to go into space when he flew on board the space shuttle. Um, just throughout his entire life, just inspiring the next generation of of engineers and 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 people who who wanted to to sort of push the boundaries of technology. One of my favourite uh, things that John Glenn ever said, um, and has been plagiarised by many, was that as he was hurtling through space, he said, "The one thing that occurred to me as we hurtled around the Earth was that the rocket that I was riding on was built by the lowest bidder." <laughs> you got to love that sense of humour. So along with the rest of the world, I would just like to say thank you, sir, for being an inspiration and rest in peace. There was a time when you had me fall into the ground Like a king without a crown Whoa. Why you make it hard? Don't let me down You might as well be lost Okay, let's change tax for a moment. Let's talk about something even more depressing. Uh, recently, we had a couple of break-ins in our little cul-de-sac. Uh, a couple of my neighbors, some um, opportune thief broke in and stole some jewelry. Uh, this happened in a really short space of time while they were out. Uh, and it's the first time it's happened where we live. We live in a little small village in, the, in what's called Fens in Cambridgeshire. Um, and we're generally far enough away from the city of Cambridge or from the town of Huntingdon to really have any of that kind of problem. But times are changing, so we need to make sure that our properties are more secure. And one of the things we realised was these people, there's only one way in and out of our cul-de-sac, so if having some form of CCTV would have been a good idea. I decided to take a little bit of a different tack. Rather than get a complicated system that requires professional installation, I found a system called Ring. A Ring is a video doorbell system. And every time somebody comes up to your front door, whether they ring the doorbell or not, it will record whoever's come to the door. It'll save a video into the cloud for you. Uh, it'll also alert you on your smart device that somebody's there. And you can actually answer the door. Now, they can't see you, so they don't know. You might be on the other side of the planet. But you can talk to them and say, look, hey, I can't come to the door now. Um, can you please leave it on the uh, leave it at the side of the house? We have uh, the doorbell installed. We have the uh, what's called a stick up camera uh, looking down over the cul-de-sac and they've been uh, working perfectly. But today 
I received a package. And this is the stick up camera for the rear of my property. And so I'm gonna be installing that today. But first, let's get it out of the packaging. Okay, let's get this package opened up. Remember children, don't play with knives. Cutting bubble wrap always seems like a bad idea. The cathartic uses of bubble wrap is to sit there and pop the bubbles. Okay, we don't need that. So, this is the Ring stick-up camera, Wi-Fi free outdoor security camera. These are great little devices. They are battery powered, um, so you would need to recharge them every, every few weeks. Um, but you can also install the optional solar panel, which is what I'm going to be doing with this. So the solar panel just basically keeps it charged up. Um, it connects to your Wi-Fi and you have a secure back garden. Very nice box. So this is the camera itself. Um, oops. So as you can see, it's a, a pretty simple unit. There are no controls on the outside. On the back here, we've got a little waterproof cover over the USB, which is, I'm assuming, where we're going to power it, and a button, which we'll find out in a moment what that does. So there's our camera. Let's uh, move all this out of the way. What have we got under here? Oh, so under here, we have all of the fixings, the tools, even a drill bit. So they really have provided all the necessary bits and pieces to... Um, make sure that you can install this. We have a long USB cable, we have a short USB cable, and we have some documents, and even a label to uh, stick on the side of your house to let potential burglars know that they are under video surveillance. Um, those are instructions, obviously we won't be needing those because I'm a guy and I never read instructions. Um, but yeah, I think we need to get this set up. Okay, so we've got everything installed. We've got our solar panel to keep the battery topped up. And we've got our mounting bracket up there on the wall. So all we need to do is make sure the cover is on the button. Insert the USB cable, making sure to get it the right way round, which I never do. Slip the waterproof cover over. Wrap the cable a couple of times around, just for security. And click in place and we are good to go it's that easy and so just to double check here we are with the live view on our iPad checking that the camera is working okay 